everybody, and I am CyBSJ, and I have once again not cleaned up my goddamn couch. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, mail. All right. Yeah, you're fine. All right. So, uh, hello, and once again, I am CyBSJ. This is the stream. <coughs> and boy, things are going roughly right now. All right, so we're going to continue our uh, playthrough of The Sinking City, a... Lovecraft adventure full of racism and 1910 times, which weren't all that great and also very, very much a century ago. So, you know, old timesies, you know, with things. Uh, last time we left off, let me see if I can summarize. We got to port some rich dude uh, that looks like an ape. Uh, said his son was missing and they have a bit of tiff with the fish looking people. Because, you know, racism. And, uh, turns out that some weird shit is going on and probably Cthulhu is involved. That's about all you need to know about the Sinking City. The rest is a whole bunch of te detective work that, uh, would take a long time to get into. Hey! Just Crowbar at the MOBA, Miss Minibu here soonish. Well, thank you for joining me. I very much appreciate that. Are you ready? to judge harshly this game that is actually really well made and the the face animations are really good and we could probably do like a lot of discussion on the various elements that this game brings up but I don't have the mental capacity to do so while I'm actually doing it. Are you ready for it? Because I'm ready for it. Let's do this thing. Let's bring that up. Let's bring the Sin Sink and City. It's Riffington the Third. How about it? How about sunk is the city? Six feet? Twelve feet? You know, it really depends. I'd say, like, you know, it's about an average of six feet above the mess into the breach. Yes! Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Here's the, here's the weird thing. And I mentioned this yesterday in the stream. Whenever I launch this game, my Steam VR also wants to launch. For whatever reason. Uh, yesterday when I launched it, I'm like, wait, is this a VR game? Did I miss something? This is a VR game? No, as it turns out, it is not a VR game. But still, Steam treats it like a VR game, launches Steam VR, and says, hey, this city is linked to, the, this thinking city thing is linked to VR. We're going to go ahead and turn all that stuff on and put all the stuff automatically to the Vive. And I'm like, what? Why? It It's not, it's not doing anything. It's like, Don, no, hey, no. It's fine. Yes, I have played Bioshock. Very much so. I infamously, maybe not infamously, but um, I've taken a lot of lessons from Bioshock in my early years. Man, I played that when it first came out in, I want to say 2007, 2008. Prequel novel's really good? Hmm. I will have to read that then. Is it all about how Andrew Ryan was, you know, born in the Eastern Bloc, moved to New York, struck oil, became an oil baron, was frustrated by FDR's New Deal because, hey, rich have to pay their dues. And he's like, no, they're all parasites. I'm going to burn down a forest. And then I'm going to make my own utopia for libertarians. And then it went terribly for him. <laughs> That twist really got me in the first game, right? Yeah. It's all about the rise and fall of Rapture. Well, look. I, I always like to say, and we're getting a little political here, but uh, libertarianism is just an idealistic look at anarchy, okay? They want to think, yes, yes, I am proud and I am independent and I can do everything on my own. And, you know, we should all just do our own thing and not bug each other. And it's like... That's great. Uh-huh. But the reason why we have, you know, governments and societies is because people are dicks sometimes. We need to keep them in mind. And we are much better together as a society rather than apart as individuals. That's why all the things that libertarians take as granted, like roads and police services and fire services and various other social support services... Uh, they just ignore and say, no, no, I can do that myself. It's like, no, you fucking can't, all right, buddy? Yeah. I've always said, much like communism, the people are the problem. 
Exactly right. You know, it, it, communism is... Okay, so if libertarianism is over here and communism is over here, you know, it's like... Communism is like you know it's it's we'll, we'll you know we'll just we'll just share everything equally and it's like yeah that's great but you know people are bastards and they're they're gonna take and you know try to get as much power as they can and that's kind of what happened with Russia is that they tried that but then they're like yeah power to the people except uh, you know it's just this ruling class is gonna take all the power don't worry about it and then they turn into an oligarchy basically you know it's like all right. Obviously, the problem with these with these isms is the fact that they assume that everybody's operating in good faith, and that's never a good thing. But that's my treatise for all of the human situation right now, and I don't mean to get into all those politics right now. Let's get into games. I try not to involve politics too much into this. I try to take a lighthearted approach to this because I am in no way a political scientist. I only know what I scroll on Reddit all day. Okay, so that's all I got. DP Hinton says a limbo champion walked into a bar. He was immediately disqualified. See, you know, number one rule of limboing is you don't walk into fucking bars. You gotta avoid the bars. That's the whole. You go under the bars. In fact, if you jump the bar, you're, just, you're disqualified too. Those are uh, those are high jumpers, not pole, uh, not lumbo experts. Let's continue. A spit, yeah. It is like rule one: people are bastards. Yeah. Look, you gotta assume that people aren't working in good faith because you know you want to assume that everybody works in good faith because you want to assume the best of people. But as I've always said, there's like. 1% of the people that are absolute bastards and will ruin it for everybody else. No, no, bar touchy? Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. It's fine. We're, we, we're covering a, a bunch of different subjects, and the lag time on the chat is not helping. Right, new location to Festa area. I don't know where the hell I come up with that. That's, uh, yeah, we don't want to go there. That's, that's not a good place. Uh, where were we in the case book? We were lost at sea. The expedition finally was made near the uh, cluster of walks around known as Devil's Sea. It's a, uh, far, okay, Oakmont? Right, okay, so I gotta find a factory which is located in western Grimhaven Bay on C. Smith Avenue between Levy Cawthon Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Okay, C. Smith Avenue between Cawthon Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Okay, so let's, let's look at our map. In... Grimhaven Bay, C. Smith Avenue, where is that? C. Smith Avenue, C. Smith Avenue, C. Smith Avenue, okay. Levy Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore, so it's about right here. We're gonna go ahead and mark that. Uh, compass, anchor, whatever, I don't care. Expedition anchor point, sure, whatever, that'll work. Where's the game kick with Zomers and his sleeves? 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 Hmm. I'm gonna have to puzzle that one out. That's that's uh that's a little bit of a more complex dad joke there, DP Hinton. But I know you're known for it, so it's all good. Yeah, it is kind of open world. I mean, look at this map. This is fucking huge. It is kind of open world. Uh. And like, okay, so like the dark brown stuff, that's traversable terrain. And then like the 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 uh, blue stuff, that's underwater. So you got to take a boat through that. But it is still like, you know, actually kind of open world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right? Arms and sleeves, armies and sleeves. All right, all right. I'll kind of give you half credit for that because it kind of makes sense, but it's still a little bit, a little bit out there, there, DP Hinton. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a bit of a stretch for that sleeve joke. There you go. Made it work. Awesome. Now where am I? I'm right here. Okay. So I'm at cover side. I'm right next to a phone booth. So let's go ahead and travel to here, and then I can. Try to get a boat over here. All right, all right. It's fast travel. Missed yesterday. Is it more a mystery puzzle adventure or more action? You know, 
I think it's a mix, right? Because you have some points where you're going to do some third-person action, you know, shooting kind of stuff, but I haven't seen a lot of that. It is mainly your private eye. You're trying to investigate the weird shit going on here. So it's more like open world exploration, scavenging, that kind of thing. I I I don't I don't want to really pigeonhole this one. It's it's kind of good. Knock knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe. Who? No, you're proof. All right. I'll give you that one. That was more straightforward. I mean, I don't know what I expected. What? Why am I going through these yards? By the way, if you missed it yesterday, like I said, um, this this world of uh, what is this? Oak. Oak. Oak something. Hold on. What is it called? Oak. God damn it. Get out of here. Get. Delete. Thank you. Oakmont. Oakmont. World of Oakmont is a bit of a uh, cornucopia of all Lovecraftian stories. There are. Uh, there are people in here that are from Innsmouth. That are very much fish people. They got the Innsmith look to them. There are uh, people that are called, uh, damn, uh, Throgmortons that very much look Planet of the Apes style, right? And then you have a lot of uh, other references to other Lovecraft novels. For example, Waitley's Chemistry, and you're like, oh, old Waitley's here. Old that that's a that's a reference I understand. All right, so I gotta go somewhere between these two buildings, hopefully. Right here, I go right here. Oh no, no, there's a dock right there. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, big old Lovecraft sandbox. Exactly. Yes, very much so. I even have like a mind's eye thing, and they have an insanity meter, all that kind of stuff. It's very wet and oh. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Need to get my gun out. One takes one shot. Oh, oh! He dodged, though. There we go. I don't know what these hands things are, but, uh... Yeah. Bullets are also a currency, so... I'm literally shooting money at them. Oh, something's... 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 Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, no, no! God damn it! Jesus, I'm using up all my ammo! Stop it! Three cows are standing in the field. One cow one says, Did you hear about the mad cow outbreak? Cow two says, Good thing I'm a helicopter! Cow three yells, Holy shit, a talking cow! Yeah, that's about right. Uh, cheers. That's a interesting joke you got there. And then the enemy corpse sinks through the floor, as is tradition. You know how it goes. <laughs> Bolts is money in games where resources matter. Such a sweet idea. You know, I was thinking exactly that. Because usually in a game when they have some kind of uh, form of other thing as currency, I'm like, alright, I'm probably not going to care about that. Hey look, I found some ammo. Cool, that's just money lying on the table. Literally. This is the factory where I need to get a diving suit, by the way. I just reminded myself of that. Uh, Metro 20, like, yeah, Metro games, I've only played a little bit of that, but that's a, that's a good example of this be realistic. Minute. Okay, apparently this won't hold for a minute. He's the expert! He's a Navy SEAL, or whatever the 1910 equivalent is of Navy SEAL. Search that, got some shell casings, it's all good, I'm gonna go upstairs, search around. Uh, hello. Gunpowder and shell casings. Good thing these people leave them around. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. Okay, fine. Apparently, you very picky about your diving suits, buddy. You want the best of the best. Nothing but the shiniest of loot. Can't... Whoa, whoa. Can't carry... What? Can't carry anymore. Hold on now. Hold on now. Alright, let's craft some gunpowder then. We got plenty of revolver ammo, I just don't have a revolver. Oh, I, I guess I do have a revolver, I just haven't switched to it. 
Wow, I have a lot. I actually collected quite a bit of gunpowder, so that's good. And now I can collect it. I'll get some more skills later that'll allow me to do stuff. Gunpowder, good, good, good. Hello, this looks pristine. Hey, look! Cool, I got a harpoon gun, a flare gun, a diving suit, and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, that, okay, I guess that was the only thing I needed here. How much does it cost to get a pirate's, a pirate's ear pierced? A buccaneer. <laughs> Alright, that's a, that's a good dad joke. That's a good dad joke there. You try. My god, you put some work into that TP hitting, and you deserve that one. That, that was solid. Yeah, I agree. That was solid. <laughs> Alright, I definitely don't want to go into that muck. The one thing I know about Lovecraft Land is that you do not want to go into the water. Unless you have a diving suit. Then it's maybe like 50-50 that you're going to survive. I mean, knowing the... Uh, what, what, what was it called? The... Uh, and neurotic nature of Lovecraft, of H.P. Lovecraft. He did not like anything damp and rotting and disgusting. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and go to our casebook here. Uh, what's this? Diving suit? Diving suit? Same type used in the Navy. Old, but in a good state. Should be good down to that. Man walks into the zoo. The only animal there is a dog. It's just shit zoo. It's just shit zoo. It's. <laughs> I gotcha. Got it. Got it. Solid. Solid. Takes a minute. But just this shit zoo. Got it. Alright, so now. Uh, maybe the uh, Devil's Teeth. We gotta go to Devil's Teeth. I'm not really caring much about the side quests. I probably should. It'll give me more experience and such. But. But, yeah, no, I just don't care. Um, oh, I'll keep an extra bullet loaded. That's pretty good. Uh, carry up to 20 faces of any crafting material. Let's do that. Let's do that. I take my knowledge gain and uh, my crafting abilities seriously. I'm a hoarder by nature because of because of games like this. So, this is a good thing. And the Lord said unto John, Come forth, and you shall see eternal life. But, can't, but John came fifth and received a toaster. You, got, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. What, what did first get? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I figured. It's, it's a common... You know, I swear, video games condition gamers for this. They're just like, you know... What? You know, they just... Just, just hoard everything. What? Unless they put in a, uh... Alright, hydrate. You wanna hydrate? You got it. Hydrate right here. We got some water. Ah, some good water. Some good water. It's dark. It's dark. And also, I like that they populated this town with random NPCs, but uh, they seem entirely too calm about the situation of half their city is flooded, we've gone to a butter system, everybody is desperate, and this guy just has to kick the tires because he does not like the fact that it is a broken down truck, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. He's frustrated. Who knows? Alright, we're going to go to... Well, I guess, uh... Yeah, I guess I'd get there by boat. I don't know what kind of boat I need. <laughs> I might need it later and this trunk has infinite space, right? I mean, that's the approach you take to, uh... Uh, to, to Skyrim, right? You just collect all the potions ever. What do you mean? What do you mean I can't get any more potions? I only have a thousand potions. You ever gonna use those potions? I might need them later. But you haven't used them ever. Okay, that we we're not gonna pay. We're not gonna pay attention to this random weird thing here. Thank you, Jesus. What the hell is that? It's like a rat mixed with c 
Cthulhu, which is probably not far off. All right, who's going to take me to Devil's Reef? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? I don't know who the hell I take. Who do I talk to about Devil's Reef here? Not the drunk dude over here. There's an 8-bit version of Final Fantasy VII? I thought there was in 64-bit, but am I wrong here? Okay, the Titania is definitely not going to go that way. <laughs> build, a wa build walls around NPC, then fill it with tin cans, APC health. Hmm. With the first prototype way back on the PS3, obviously it was a silly action game, didn't take itself too seriously, but having random sections of the city where life is totally normal, and then random bits of awful fleshy from Tim's felt a little bit odd. Right? I mean, they did a really good job of making this city seem like it's still alive. But at the same time, you know, it's 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 fucking dying. Honestly, maybe maybe pretty relevant for today times. So, what do I know? Alright, now where the fuck do I go? Okay, so I need to find a boat. I need to find a boat. Where do I find a boat? Let me see what I can do about... Oh! Oh, there's a boat down there at Pier 3. Okay, cool. I can get there by boat. <laughs> this version was an unofficial version that I actually made for any NES character in China. Huh! You find the most interesting stuff, DP. Gotta say. That's cool. That's cool. So, why is... Why is building walls around them and filling them with cans NPC hell? Am I missing something about NPCs? Hello. The mayor's curse these days. Yeah, you've said that before. It seems like that's your uh, go-to line there, bud. They, yeah, they get buried. Okay. I don't see how that bothers them because they just still walk around, right? I'm guessing. Just sim torture. I. I mean, I guess I don't think they really care. You know, I think a big part of it for me is that they just, they don't, they just don't give a fuck. You know. Alright, yes, of course. Oh, is there a boat, like, right next to the Titania that I can take? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I got it. Okay, we're gonna go into the sea, people! Gotta go! Lost at sea, we're gonna do this thing! I guess we're here now! Alright, cool! We're gonna... Where the hell are we? Devil's Teeth, got it! Got it! Yeah, we're just a whole bunch of pillars now. All right. They just sort of stand it. I know, right? I mean, if you wanted to torture a sim, I think the traditional way is to put them in a pool, right? And then take away the ladder and then watch them drown, right? That's the traditional way, right? Because then you can actually see them suffer. <laughs> it is a classic, isn't it? All right, cool. I found a diving suit, and now I'm definitely under the water. Okay, well this is this is gonna be scary as hell. So there's tiny room, mini fireplaces, and a fur rug. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, deep breath. All right, cool. What we got around here? Can I find some gunpowder underwater? Is it gonna be useful gunpowder? Here's a here's a wooden ship. Just so you know. All right, hold on. Hmm. Harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. If damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. <gasps> okay. 
and so follow them. Alright, cool. I'll follow the chemical lamps then. Is that a harpoon? A harpoon. Let's get our harpoon gun ready. What's this? This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Could it be a statue? I feel like I should raise you know the the gain here just a little bit. I feel like this game is maybe a little bit too quiet. Alright, this this is okay, I don't know where I am anymore. There we are. Found where I am. I swear we look like a big daddy right now. It's giving me Bioshock vibes. A lot of Bioshock vibes right now. Okay, we got a diving helmet here. That's not a good sign. Usually you need your diving helmet on for this kind of scenario. It's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Yeah! I, I'm actually pretty impressed with it so far. Okay, uh, chemical lamps lead here. Looks like I gotta go down. We'll just descend. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, hi! Hi, insanity, apparently taking my mind from me. Why am I going insane slowly? Excuse me, sirs? Why am I going insane slowly? I don't like how insane I'm going right now. That's a skeleton. Hi. How's it going? And I'm going insane. And I'm insane. Alright, cool. Well, I guess I'm insane then. And missed. Alright, I I guess I'm through there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, my jam. It's very stressful underwater. Very stressful. Yes. Yes indeed, yes. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, um, didn't I just have a suit on? Why am I why am I now in backpack mode here? Oh, I see. Yeah, I just lifted that shit up with a crane and everything. Yeah, it's all good. My sanity's full now. It's the all good. Scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Alright, can I what is this? Is this a brick? I have a brick. Let's use med kit. Can I use can I use med kit? Yeah, let's just use make it there. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Okay, that guy is insane. Hi, expedition crew member. How you doing? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me you little as bunny rabbit. Aphid. You little bunny rabbit. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, this isn't totally Lovecraftian at all. The suits are all cut up. Yeah, well, you know, that's what happens. Alright, we got a ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Alright, we'll collect it. A ritual it. knife and a cult sign. Okay, yeah, let me let me I take a I picture show then. Mr. Throckmorton. Let me take a picture then. Let me just take a nice old fashioned picture. Innsmouther attacker, yes. The Innsmouthers are attacking somewhat. Hark, he comes! The sacred, full-bellied bearer of splendor! Take me, make me, I beg you! Hey, chaps, how's it going? Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes! First, second, third, opened by the aura! You see much, yet... Do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here. Be right here. Sleeping. Be right here. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake. You holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. 
I pray you. I don't know what this guy is talking about at all. All right, let me catch you up, Miss Media, because you weren't here yesterday to you know see the beginning of this game. So basically, you're a hard-boiled detective, as a tradition with a Lovecraft novel, right? And you've been having a bunch of terrible visions ever since your Navy ship in World War II, the Cyclops, went down after a deep sea diving expedition. And now you've got this ability to do use your mind's eye to see, you know, use your third eye to see stuff, right? Okay. And then you learned about uh, Oakmont, which for the last six months has been experiencing the flood, where... Uh, you know, the sea levels are rising and flooding most of their city, and there's a whole bunch of Lovecraftian horrors just crawling out of everywhere, ripping people apart, and, you know, it's separated from the mainland now, so they've turned to a barter system of just bullets, booze, and, uh, smokes as, you know, as, as currency and everything like that. There you are. I think that pretty much catches you up. You're drawn to it because you still have visions of... Uh, a sinking city, which is Oakmont. So you want to figure what the fuck is going on. So you get there, you start, you know, you're a private eye, so you start, you know, trying to figure out what's going on and, you know, who the main players are. There's this family called the Throgmortons who look like Planet of the Apes people. And I'm not even kidding. They, they're very ape-like in their face structure, right? They're very much the power brokers of this town. They're, they're, they're the aristocrats. And then you have the Innsmithers, which apparently they're linking in the um, whole Innsmith incident into this. This is after they burned down Innsmith. So all of them, you know, kind of scattered to the winds and are like, well, we'll go find work, you know, elsewhere. And they very much look like fish people, but they're not evil per se. You know, they're just regular people and everything like that. And yeah, I know, right? It's actually pretty good. And, um,. Uh, the dialogue is actually really well written. I suggest you go back to my last stream and watch, you know, all the three hours of me going through, like, the first or couple of missions and everything like that. It's actually pretty well done. <laughs> Want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind, it's terrible. Depends on the, uh, structure of that paper there, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's a pretty good game so far. You know, third person, um, the controls work pretty well. It's got a detective mode, and these are from the same guys that did all of, like, the Sherlock Holmes mystery games. So their, their mystery approach to everything is actually pretty approachable, but actually pretty deep. So I like it, yeah. And, like, the motion capture for the faces is actually really good. Like, like damn good. You're just like, damn, why didn't I have this for L.A. Noir? That, that would have been much better. But, again, this is, like, ten years later after L.A. Noir, so, you know, whatever. All right. Anyway. New Mind Palace clue. Great, great, great. I'm just going to go ahead and look around everywhere here. And what we got here? knife and a cult sign. Oh, no, no, this is the word. I think I better show Mr. Throck Morton. Right, that's the way I came in. Hold on. Alright, so this looks like... Oh, hello. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Okay, well, you know, people talking about stars and ancient horrors. That sounds very Lovecraftian. They've definitely placed a bunch of uh, torches everywhere to see uh, things. Okay, there's a fire over there I should probably go towards. Yep, gonna go towards the fire. Can't go over that way. This is definitely an air pocket of some kind. I don't know why you want to be burning a fire in here, though. You're just gonna eat away your oxygen and limited oxygen at that. Hello? Did I want to do that? I feel like I didn't want to do that. I, okay. Okay. All right. Is this is this supposed to be like a place where I put this? No. Okay. I I don't know what you want me to do then. Use my mind eye. My mind eye don't want to do that either. 
Okay, weird. Let me check my case book here. Go to the inn's mouth or killed in the underwater temple. He's wearing a strange amulet with an image of a fish eye around the neck. For some reason, he's armed with a ceremonial dagger. I gotcha. Amulet you totally don't have yet? Zipline? It looks like it's in... That icon is the icon for my camera. You know, my portable camera. And it looks like I gotta put it on the tripod, which would make sense. But at the same time, I, I can't. I, I can't. My interaction buttons are not working. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I mean, obviously I'm supposed to be here because I was able to get here. Maybe I need to go around this way first. Let me just... Why isn't my... There's my flashlight. Okay, it's got a very limited range. Go around this way, see what I can find. Alright, nothing this way. No, a whole lot this way. So it's gotta be somewhere around... Wait, what does this do? I have not checked out the central pillar that I ignored before. What does this do? Oh! Oh, here we go! Perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Maybe, I don't know. You're the one who has the stuff about this. Hmm. Perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Maybe you need attachments, Karen? It's a tripod. You just plunk it down. I mean, what's the problem here? I told Alexa to remind me to go to the gym. and said she added gin to my <laughs> shopping list. <laughs> yeah, cheers to that, sir. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to our mind palace real quick. See what we're going to do here. Mad scientists. Mavenous emanates from scientists. Hmm. Can't leave the survivors to die here, even if their madness may influence others. This is not their fault. I have to ban this friends their mad fate. You know what? I'm going to save them. It seems like the only way. The Titania incident. Yeah, I know, I know. Madness on the Titania. The outbreak of madness on the Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on a lifeboat to stop it. Hmm. So what does that mean? Albert was the source of this madness. Albert Throgmorton was the source of the madness that made the Titania crew kill one another. So save. I'm still gonna save him. I don't care. I'm gonna try to save him. Damn it! You see now, do you? The splendid horror of the truth. Nah, I guess maybe. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Ooh, hello. Here we go. Let's see what happened here. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Oh, I see. The Innsmithers followed them in here and waited for them to open the temple and then cut their suits open so they couldn't escape. I got it. That makes sense. Today on House Hunters, he's a celebrity death prognosticator. She's a shredded cheese expert. Their budget is $2.6 million. And also on House Hunters, we're going to find a couple that's already selected a house and then have them look at two other houses that they're totally not going to buy. At all. Just not at all. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got I to gotta go back. Got to go back. Piece this together. Apparently that wasn't part of the plan here. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. Oh, okay. I got you. What? It's shivering. This is... No! Get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. I guess, but... Mm, that, uh... Acting was a little suspect. Alright, let's put this as one. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Put this as two. 
way? What? It's shivering. This is... No! Get away from me! So, you know, we got this, uh, this, uh, Lovecraftian cave here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very big. We got about 2,000, uh, feet of floor space here. And, um, it's got a lot of room for renovation. But, uh, of course, because it's unfinished and a bit damp and needs a little bit of work, we're gonna have to lower the price. Uh, but considering the location on the east coast and, uh, the going rates, we're gonna we're gonna say this is about a two million dollar location right here. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. An expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so I'm a little bit insane because of that now. Cool. Let's go to our mind palace here. Burned documents in the underwater artifact. Innsmither's plot. Innsmithers know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. So, we got Albert vs. Horse of Madness and the Innsmithers plot. So, let's get this. Save the survivors. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. Alright, cool! Cool. Let's do that then. Sorry. My god, you're just full of jokes today, aren't you? My ex asked if I considered getting back together. I said, yeah. I also considered taking shit and shoveling it back into my, uh, my ass. Oh, that one sounded a little bit bitter. <laughs> oh. The suits are all cut up. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's go back to the surface then? Am I in the casebook? Let's see here. Waited until Professor Joe took the hour and then attacked. See the professor and the object. They remainder of the expansion to their fates. Okay, so I better I better report this to uh, old uh, Planet of the Apes up there. He'll uh, he'll know what to do. So I guess I found all I can right now, especially since I can't unlock. Yeah, pull those balloons. Shoot me to the surface. That's how that works. I mean, why not, honestly? Sure. Fast travel. It works. And I'm back on the coast, I guess. I don't know. Sure, that works. Yes. Devil's Wreath. Done. Sorry, it's not Devil's Wreath, it's Devil's Teeth. Devil's Wreath is a location in Innsmouth. Oh! Hold on, I'm gonna get flashes again. I'm gonna have a dream about falling into the ocean into a giant Lovecraftian mouth again. Oh, no, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, no, no, here it is. Red dream again. Is it a Lovecraftian world? Oh, uh, you damn well know it is! A whole bunch of strains. <gasps> Non-Euclidean geometry? Yeah, probably. By the way, non-including geometry just means it's on a curved surface. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's a lot of runic slash mysterious... Whoa, tentacles! Whoa, we got a case of the tentacle hands here. Well, what do you know? Tentacle hands. Nobody likes tentacle hands. Unless you're into that kind of stuff, then yeah, absolutely you're into tentacle hands. And suddenly I'm back at the hotel. Awesome. Honestly, I thought that uh, that expedition would be a little bit longer. I thought it would be a little bit harder to uh, get over there, but I guess not. Ooh, hello. Coin, right. I've seen that coin before. We're good. Oh yeah, I can change. My Diary, Part 2. The doctors at Boston Asylum were looking for a way to fix me. Proved to be a tall order. 
At first, they'd ask me questions. I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just making a list of things to fix. Feared water. So they swelled me in drenched sheets, told them about the things in darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms blindfolded. No progress, till they brought the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctors held my mind together. He told me who I am and how to think. Gave me concoctions to keep me sane. Seems like getting used to it. The question is, for better or for worse. Do you think Tarzan was virgin before he met Jane, or was he clapping gorilla cheeks? Wow, for once, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> That's just an honestly good question. I mean, we do have to consider uh, the society of apes he was with, and whether they accepted him as one of his own, and whether he was of acceptable breeding age. I want to go with, uh, he was maybe curious at the very least. Okay, cool. Alright, we're just gonna go downstairs, uh, and go to Mr. Throgmorton. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm watching you, newcomer. Alright, you freaky fish-faced bastard! Alright, Mr. Throgmorton is right here at Throgmorton Manor. So we can go over here and then try to avoid the quarantine zone and just go this way. Or we can go over here and then have a nice straight... Yeah, let's do that. And yeah, let's just fast travel real quick to that area. Yeah, just fast travel. Well, a loading screen, but it's okay. We'll save a little bit of time on that. Save a little bit of time. It's no biggie. No big at all. The only way to stop the fire is to pause my mixtape. Wait, you didn't start the fire, right? It was always burning since the world's been turning. Alright, when we go along this way, then we'll take a right and then just go right through onto the manor. I don't see how it's manor. It's right next to right next to the waterlogged street. Seems kind of blah to me. But yeah, Kerbar, if you're still around here, man, I think this is right up your alley. It's, you know, it's open world, it's got side quests, and it's very Lovecraftian themed. Yeah, definitely for you. Oh, yes. Yeah, keep sweeping the muck, man. Keep sweeping that muck! I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm gonna go along this street, and then I'll hit a boat, and then just take that right to the moor, uh, the, the, the mansion, the mansion, not the moor, the mansion. Is there a difference? Maybe. Gotta save that expedition, gotta find some more suits! Okay, okay, I thought you were just hunched down real low, but your head is just really dark. Let's get in here. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't think I clipped into that thing, but apparently I did. Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is my best shot at getting at the manor. It's weird that this boat is labeled as a Cyclops, too. And it's everywhere throughout the city, no matter where I try to dock at. Let's just go right here. This seems like the manor. Hello, people! Just milling about. Go about your business in your canes and hats. Yes! High society! Indeed! Alright, this should be the manor. Excuse me. Hi, how's it going? You look like you're a bodyguard of some kind. Oh, is that Albert? The mortician has touched him up well. Yeah, that definitely looks like Albert. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed, in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. 
What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Uh, let's go with there's mutiny the on the titanium. The titanium mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be a famous. Yeah, it's the thing. They were all I'm killed. Afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? Hmm. They knew about the runes. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll the Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems mm -hmm. that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They I mean, you're not wrong. And the artifact she found. But she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Alright, let's Fine, not start Mr. a race war here. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. Yeah, okay, thank and you. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. Mm. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. Hmm. That sounds right. simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Goodbye, sir. Have a good day. All right, cool. Wow, I got a hand grenade, knowledge point, Throgmorton stats. Oh God, I got a lot of shit from there. Quid pro quo. You got a quid pro quo. When your deodorant says forty-eight hours, but you eat an eight. Somebody has an appetite for oleander. You heard me, oleander. Oleander. All right. I'm done. Actually, this is not a bad manner. Honestly, it's a uh, <laughs> very jungle themed. I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, uh, I shouldn't laugh at that. Uh. Do you have a sub base? You don't even have a sub basement. Okay. Well, you have a pool table, though, in your goddamn basement. My god, you are, you're better off than 90% of this goddamn city. I'm surprised your basement isn't flooded, though. I mean, jeez. You got a waterfront right next to you because of this. You got a piano up here and a bunch of chairs. Jesus, where, where do you people sleep? Oh, you sleep right there. Gotcha. Gotcha. It seems pretty plush. Again... With the topiary, with all of the plants around here. Jace. The door won't budge. Ah, oh, fine. I guess I won't loot you then. You're smart enough not to keep all your stuff. Just, you know. 
elsewhere. Okay, okay, so I need to... Let's go to my casebook. Uh, let's attack for the... These were the lift, all left to die. The attackers had distinctly fish-like features and spot syndrome, as locals call it. Because the fire carried dagger, particularly the golden amulet, resembled a fish eye. This can't be the only attack I have carried out. They must have been throughout the city. Okay. Hmm. Okay, great. That doesn't lead. Hmm. I. Better go to the archives then. Hmm. 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 A delicate matter, eh? Collector of fine arts. Alright, we can probably do this one. Lies on Gold Bridge Road and lives on Gold Bridge Road in Central Oak Grove. His house is situated in. Halfwind in Century Avenue. Okay, Gold Bridge Road and Oak Grove. Old Grove. Let's look at that again. Gold Bridge Road and Oak Grove. Gold Bridge Road. Okay, that's this. That's Gold Bridge Road. Between where? Uh, between Wind Half and Century. Okay, Wind Half and Century. So about here, let's place that mark. Danger! No, and edit. Put Herbert Glover's address. Yeah, somewhere in there. All right, let's go. Let's get a nice, get a nice uh, detective vibes going here. We're gonna go find out what happened to Herbert Glover, I guess. Why not? This looks like the more up end part of town. If you could ever call it more up end, it's still wet and disgusting and foggy and damp and old timey, but you know. Hey, if you ever been deal with dinner, back now. Alright, hey, welcome back! We're, don't worry about it. I'm just uh, talking mainly to myself. It's all good. So, we're here to do more Lovecraftian things in damp and disgusting, rotting places where everything is very glistening with water. Because. Lovecraft hated damp things. All right, where am I? Okay, this is Wind Half and Century, so this should be Herbert Glover's address somewhere. Somewhere. It's one of these houses. It's not this one, because that's not a golden door. It's not a golden door, so I can't open it. Hey, there's a post office box there. Good to know the post office goes here. That's not that. That's definitely not a place we need to search. Just gonna go door to door now. Let's see here. We got we got this door. That's not a place I can go in. Okay. So that's Sentry. This is Wind Half. So we're we're narrowed to this block, basically. It's not that door. Not that door. Not that one. Might be that one. Could be that one. Let's go up to that. Let's see what's happening up here. Yep. Okay. This is habited, so. Uh, he's fucking in here, though. I bet you. We'll just climb over that because we can fucking climb shit. Just go around the back. Let's see if I can open the back door. The door won't budge. Damn it! All right. Um. Hmm. How do we get in here, though? How do we get in here? It's gotta be way into this house. Don't mind me, random people walking around. I'm just trying to break into this house. It's all I wanted. That's all I ever wanted. Hmm. Hmm. 
How weird. Let's see what my map says. Doesn't say anything. Okay. Is it is that not the house? It seems like it seemed like that would be the house. Hello. Oh. Maybe this is the house. <gasps> I found it. Herbert Glover's Manor. Excuse me? What was that? Okay. Whoa! Hello. Let me go for a revolver here. Oh, yeah. We need that revolver. Let's reload that buddy. Gotcha. All right, cool. Kill them. No problem. Oh, there's more. Got him. Don't know what it is, but I got him. Oh shit, there's more. Oh no, they're just melting into the floor. It's all so good. I got this. The door won't budge. Yeah, you think? Jesus, I killed a lot of them. Oh, cool. I got 17 bullets now. Let's do this thing. I got enough bullets for all you. All you motherfuckers. Yeah, hand like things. It all came from the basement, it seems. What's down there? What's down in the basement? I'm going to start searching. From the bottom up. Okay, again. Apparently, rich people like their pool tables. Can't carry anymore. What do you mean you can't carry anymore? Excuse me, you can't carry anymore? Fuck you, carry more! Alright, at least we can carry more of that. Statue's head. Not sure what that means. Can't read the book. Alright. Found the wine cellar. Guess we can only carry about 21 bullets here. Hmm. Alright, looks like we're good here on this bottom floor. Let's go upstairs. Me being tackled by police dot. Oh, what's his name? Oh, I knew you, good boy. You're a good boy. Alcohol, coil springs, got powder, shell casings. That guy looks like a real aristocrat of sorts. Hello, is he dead? Yep, found him. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Oh, and he's been stabbed. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's why he didn't, you know, he didn't meet up with the dude. Oh, is this door open? Cool. That's a bedroom. That's a nothing. Hello. Oh. What be this then? I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Is it a mirror? There's a mirror, apparently. A mirror, huh? Oh, hello. Yeah, you like what you see, buddy? <laughs> hello. Is it a scary photo? I don't What's know what it's that. A mirror. A mirror. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. I see. So apparently, there's some kind of mirror that old Abbott was killed over. Gotcha. Hello. I'm gonna grab some extra stuff from here. Nice. Gotta get that alcohol, gotta get that gunpowder and shell casings. You know how it goes. Still haven't found any smokes. It's weird that I haven't found any smokes. <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Okay. Great. That's still that's the same thing. Uh, 
I don't think I've found all the clues yet. Keep looking. Gotta be more clues around here somewhere. <laughs> Somebody killed Tweedledum. <laughs> Still wide open. I mean, yeah. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. I don't think you're wrong here. Hmm. Blood trail, blood trail, blood trail. Hello. Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Okay. Hmm. Haven't found all of the clues. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. We're going to reconstruct this scene. Alright, let's see here. Squint, run! Oh, oh Kay! I have killed him! Uh oh. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Who are you? What in Kay's name are you doing in my house? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it should be this one. Easiest gig in this district. This one. You, who are you? What in K's name are you? And then Squinch, three. run! Just oh, a burglary oh, gone bad. Hey, That's my I, deduction. I've killed him. Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Thank you for that hanging man kind of silhouette there. Yeah, I've gone mad because I've solved the case. Okay. Key evidence collected. There's more evidence, though. Interesting. That indicates there's more evidence. What evidence do I have to find now? Looks like they're short of full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Hmm. Yeah. You like what you see, buddy? Hmm. Looks like you didn't secure your home there, bud. Maybe she got in a butler or something. Hmm. I don't see any more clothes. Uh, clues. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't see this stuff. I keep a 40-year-old newspaper article. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. Further text from the book. Okay. Letter to Mr. Throgmorton. In October, the uh, mitochondria turns into a phytochondria and becomes the haunted house of the cell. <laughs> I see. Is that why I feel like at least like a hundred more, a hundred percent more spooky this time of year? That's a uh, that's my estimate on that one. Hmm. Interesting, Mister Throgmorton. It is with our deepest regret that I must inform you that the price of the piece you requested has changed once again. Demand has increased, and now it is triple what we read earlier. I know this is the second time I've raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Clover. Interesting! I found all the evidence, too. Great. The door won't budge. Okay, time to go back to old Mr. Apeface. As soon as I find a find a phone booth. I think maybe I can find one on on Winham Avenue or something. Or maybe I can find something down Century Avenue near this place. This is definitely a centralized place that Why are you kicking tires? You're always kicking tires. God damn. That thing has been stuck in the mud for at least like six months. What the hell? Stop it. There's a lot of bullets there. Hmm. 
Again, really well made game. I mean, it definitely gets the creepy vibe of, you know, damp, dreary, north, uh, like, New England area. Who are you walking in such a hurry? Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? There's a lot of people that appear out of thin air around here. Oh, I missed it. Hold on, I'm on. I need to go down that street. I'm not even paying attention. I'm too busy making fun of this game. When really, it's actually a pretty good game. Sometimes it's a little dark, though. Just a little bit dark. I'm going to explore a little bit. Go buy all the buses and stuff like that. Obviously, there's no transport in this sinking city. And it seems like it's a little bit of a uh, commentary about society, because obviously the poor are suffering, but the rich are just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll get out of this. We'll make sure this benefits us. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just deal in bullets now. It's fine. Okay, giant Ferris wheel. Good to know. Thought there would be uh, some kind of telephone booth around here so I can do a fast travel point. Apparently I was wrong. Am I wrong? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit wrong. Just a little bit wrong. I'm going to circle around. I bet I can find a fast travel point eventually. Yeah, cool. We got a little bit of a, a little bit of bridge here. Nice and scenic. Not creepy at all. I'll just travel until I find a goddamn telephone booth. That's what I want right now. Quit coughing. Cover your mouth. Come on, bud. Don't need a pandemic in addition to all this stuff. Hello, is that an infested area? That's an infested area. Oh, that is definitely an infested area. I am not ready for an infested area. At all! I need a rifle first. What do I got? I got a revolver and a pistol. I only got one bullet for the revolver, so... How about not? Hi, how's it going? Yep, not over there. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so, like I said, I need to go to the archives real quick to investigate any attacks by Innsmithers. Of course, that requires me finding a fast travel point and then going to, like, the archives or something. Oh, fine, I'll take the boat. At least it's fast to take the boat. It seems like a useless boat there, but alright. There's just like no fast travel point. Oh, there it is! Find it! Found it! Found it! Found it! Alright, cool. We found it. Thought it would be somewhere around here. Alright, so that's Throgmorton Manor. That's a police station. I wonder if they have an archive. Let's go. Let's do an archive. Let's see if they got an archive at the police station. Maybe we can find something regarding Innsmouthers attacking and stuff. Can't face it wrong, right? There it is. There's the police station. That's what I. That's what I want right there. Do 
Jeez, it happened. It wouldn't have known. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Throg. Well, it seems like you're a little bit service. bitter. What do we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Yeah. I'm sorry, do you have a problem, officer? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots. Well, maybe you are. Frank, newcomer, you ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. All right, dickbag, I don't think you're going to do anything except stand there the whole time. So fuck you! Alright, let's see here. Crimes. Uh, we're going to go with property crimes. Subjects. Sus suspects? Suspects. Instruments. Crime. Vagment. Impounds. Criminal pattern. Damn. No, no, no. That's not what I want. What's, what's the letter? Old Groke. Okay, so... Hold on, hold on. Let's uh, let's clear that district. Old Grove subject. Suspects, crimes, property crimes. Let's search. Here we go. Squint's police file. Name: Philip O'Connell, alias Squint. Sex: Male. Age: 46. Residence: Unknown. Crimes: Numerous burglaries in Old Grove. Breaking the entry. Tax evasion. Tax evasion? Damn. All right, they got him on tax evasion. Just like Capone. Possible associates. Name Sidney Stokes. Alias Nunn. Sex male. Okay, Sidney Stokes. Age 21. Residence. Okay, so there's a residence. Oakmont, Massachusetts. Northern Salvation Harbor. West of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. Crimes. Jaywalking. Lollygagging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are laughable crimes. Look at this. You got jaywalking, lollygagging, and jury duty dodging. Ah! Alright, so we gotta look for him at the intersection of Moreland and Salvation and Northern Salvation Harbor. Alright, alright. Northern Salvation Harbor, Salvation. Salvation, Salvation Road, and what was the other one? No, no, that's not the one I wanted. Moreland. Moreland and Salvation. Moreland and Salvation. And let's see, wait, where is, that's Salvation. Ah, Salvation Moreland, so right around here. Alright, so how am I going to get there? Question, question one. Probably easiest if I go here... And then take a boat up C. Smith and Abolition Street to right there. Probably the easiest way of doing that. And I can do that. Wait, where am I? I'm at the police station. So I'm right there. Just go outside, take the quick travel, and take the thing. As soon as I find the way out. There it is. Oh, quit crying! It's only a sinking city. Don't worry about it. Haven't heard from you guys in a little bit. How you guys doing? Just doing a little bit of lurking? Listen to me rambling on about various things? Makes sense. Quick pro quo. 
You know how it goes? You gotta do a quick quid pro quo. More like a squid pro quo, if I, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, go through the yard. Pop out. Pop it right over there. Okay. Am I going the right way? I am definitely going the right way. Okay, I'll pop it right here in the street. And then I go this way, and then take a hard left. Pop in the boat. Then go to our destination. You know, I do have to check if I can make a uh, health kit or five. Yeah, there we go. We just need some alcohol. Make a couple of health kits, you know. That's a thing. Yeah, just inject me with that good stuff. There we go. Now I got plenty of health. Just in case I run into something spooky around here. Make a nice scenic tour here. Am I on the right street? I think I'm on the right street. C Smith? Yeah, I just take C Smith all the way up to Abolition. Excuse me, sir! I'm gonna get tangled in your fishing rods there. We go right through over here. Can to continue along? I checked the. I'm sorry. I'm. J oh, hold on. Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. I'm just paranoid about uh, taking the wrong turn a lot. I'm the kind of guy who would put a destination into my phone when I don't know where I'm going, and then look at it every five seconds because I think I'm going to miss my turn, and then take my turn way too early and then end up in the exact wrong spot and then wait in line for the Renaissance Festival for a, an hour longer than I expected. Yeah, that's 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 me right there. Yeah, that is so me right there. Oh shit, this is an infested area. Hmm. Never mind. Not in fresh air. We're good. I just avoid those areas entirely. Sorry, I'm eating crackers because, yeah. Uh, it's good to munch on every now and then. Especially when you've been drinking. Hello! Hello, random sir, fishing. Alright, just ignore me, it's fine. Okay, this should be the place. Alright, play the harmonica. See if I care. Yeah, probably right in here. No? No? I can't get him on this door? Damn! Quite a travel place, though. They should be on this corner. This is the corner of Moreland and, uh... Seasmith? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what was it? Moreland Road and Salvation Road. So yeah, right about here. It should be it. I don't know why this isn't it. This is not it? Damn. 
Okay. Certainly seems like the place. I don't know what you guys are doing walking around. It's very random how we're walking around. It's kind of freaking me out. How about you not? I'm going to climb a fence. I'm just going to do random shit. How about over here? What's over here? Yep, nothing over there. Okay, I got nothing. It's supposed to be at this crossroad, but I can't I can't fucking find it. What does my case book say? West. West of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. Gotcha. West. I gotta go west. I have to do reading comprehension. That seems like that's his place with the blinking light bulb over it. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is something. Sydney Stokes. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just busting in. Hello. Mr. Stokes, the price of a separate barrel for your mother, Martha Stokes, is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials, and we have resources and manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks, or we will have to enter your mother in a mass grave. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Oh shit. What's this? Okay. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying! It won't let me click. It won't let me click whatever the hell this is. Oh, here we go. Got it. Rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. Give me those bullets. <gasps> I got three bullets. No honor among three of uh, among thieves. What? Take Simmy Snatch, you monster. Hey! Hey! You pointed me towards it. Damn! There's only three bullets, too. Damn! It wasn't all that much. Stash my ass. Bathtub. Get some. What is that? Sun fight? I don't know what the fuck that means. Alright, hold on. Just die! Damn! Oh, shush you. Shush you. Shush you. Commit. Thank you. That wasn't too bad. All right, Sydney, where the fuck are you? Oh, you dead? Gotcha. You dead? <sighs> Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. Who did it? Danny ain't it broke. What's that? What's well, not it? Well, it's not it. Sorry, I missed that. What was the context here? Oh, Ma. I killed him. What have I done? What in the world have I done? Oh, I see. What have you done? Done a lot of bullshit. That's what you've done. Well, that's a, that's a hole right through. You know when they say you uh, get up on the wrong side of the bed? Well, this is an extreme version of that.
All right, so what you do, you motherfucker? Hello. Scratch box. Let's just rotate that. Hold that. At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. Okay. So that mirror is something. The woman who took the mirror. Omen, omen, hello. Secret door, secret door, secret door. Get away from the... Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Wait, what? Wait, what? Sid, what? Sidney Stokes, I presume. Aye, 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 that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you. Should I say? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, okay. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. So maybe that was his partner? You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she she's our employee. I don't know her name or anything. She she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. Hmm. Okay, describe her. Paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was <clears throat> tall and thin. Very thin. Just skin and bones. Me like a rattlesnake. Hey, that's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then poof it out of there. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blow out and she shifted him. Ooh. What am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us, and, and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. <laughs> he seems I, I, very I, nonplussed about this. I didn't mean to kill anyone. I, I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Eh, fuck it. I'll let him go. You might be a sap, but at least you're not a sap. I'll look the other way, but you better get scarce fast. Oh, thank you. You're a life cipher. Uh, you won't see me again, I swear. H here, take this. Thanks again. Sweet! I got stuff. First aid kit. Nice. Nice. Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, wall. Wall. Right, there was a... Okay. Alright, yeah. Alright, cool. Can I lose stuff from you? Wh what do you want? I don't know. Loot. Mainly loot. I want loot. I get all the evidence here. All evidence collected. Cool, 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 cool. Case book. Let's see what we get here. Uh, delicate matter. Phil ever done the rich you know, I remember when it said this place she killed Phil, took the mirror. I said they couldn't remember how much it except he was thin, old and had a bad temper. She turned to Mr. Throgmorton, tell me what I found. Alright, cool. Go back to Mr. Throgmorton. Easy enough. It'll give me a clue as to where I go next. Where's the nearest? There's the nearest. Alright, cool. That's easy. Fast travel. Fast travel. Fast travel is the best. Alright, where are we going? We're going to Throgmorton Manor. That's a little bit further away. Alright, cool. No, that's not what I wanted. Just... No, hey, I didn't. No, let's quickly clear that. Delete. Thank you. There you go. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. So, crowbar slash Miss Media. How are you guys doing over there? 
I don't know if I showed uh, Crowbar exactly what I've been up to. I did ask you guys a little while ago about, you know, your preference for D&D &D things. And I'll go ahead and show you real quick what I've been up to. Mm. So, here's a little wizard guy. Can't, can't exactly, it doesn't, my camera doesn't focus all that well, but it's a little wizard. Yeah, a little wizard guy. Along with a little ranger that you can't exactly focus on because my camera's, again, kind of terrible. But I'm working on those things, so that's pretty fun. I gotta reprint the wizard, though, because it didn't quite get all of the, all of the goodness on it. But, uh, you know, get to that eventually when I have some time and I'm not streaming 24-7 on this stuff. So, yeah, that's my nice little introspection there. All right, uh, back to the game. As soon as I get some more water and or booze. Alright, so, looks good, well thank you, thank you. Like I said, you know, it's, and the camera's not all that great, it's, you know, focusing on random things thrown in his face. I gotta redo the thing because its arm did not turn out exactly right, so I gotta reprint it, but it's fine. I got, I found a whole bunch of things on Thena first that's just like, you know, 21 of those things, and I'm gonna probably print out a whole bunch of them. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. I'm always looking for new projects like that. Alright, going back to Throg Mortons. I bet there's a I bet there's a fast travel like right next to him that I'm missing. Right, I'm gonna hold shift to sprint. Alright, where am I going now? Alright, take a left and then a right soon. You wouldn't you what do you got in that suitcase, bud? Bet it's something. Bet it's something interesting. Okay, take it right here. Yeah, it's it's oh, it's right here on the corner. Let's talk to Mr. Throg Morton, Mr. Ape Face himself. into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Yes. Yes. Their employer decided to bump them off. Now, I hope that's not standard business practice in these parts. You've proven to be far more valuable to me alive than dead, Mr. Reed. Yeah, so far. You have nothing to worry about in that regard. So far. All right. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. Hmm. All right. Cool. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. 
Okay, rest his soul. Yeah, well, how, how is evil with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. All right, so tell me about the records. You mentioned then. your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not seem to enjoy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Sweet! I got access to their archives now. Wow, they give me 12 gauge shell. I can get a shotgun on this? Alright. I don't have a shotgun yet, but alright. Access to the throb. Whoa, okay, I got access to the back door apparently. Well, I guess I'm gonna take a look around. What's this now? Albert Throgmorton, obituary. In loving memory, Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, and descendant of the robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oak uh, Montport, aged 25 years. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and praise sent by the sins of Oakmont. Oakmont. Ooh, ooh, Oakmont. Okay, this is a study, huh? Francis Thugmorton. It's an ambitious expedition. Yeah. Like father, like son. I think that the painting was probably touched up. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp. But... I guess that's the point. <laughs> ah, there you go. That's uh, that's a dad joke for you. Mm -hmm. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Exclusive interview. Francis Thogborn's expedition to Africa has proven to be the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, on Tangers of 1891. He has returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropological research, a newborn son, christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today, in an exclusive interview with Oakman Chronicle, he has agreed to share some insight with us. Wait, Robert was born out of that expedition? And they got a photo of an ape? That seems a little bit weird, if you ask me. Hello. Wait, 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 where is this? Whoa, wait a minute. That's what I fucking thought. Oh, don't you do the hanging man to me. Double barrel dad joke there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 12, 12, 18... Oh, you're doing the old style here. December 12th, 1894. Francis! Divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court. The most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. You gotta remember, this is before 1975-ish? When, uh, at least in U.S. court, they made it way easier to get divorced. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at a tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethary's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont's asylum seems to be a very well-known place. Regards, a chancery. Okay. It looks a little familiar. <laughs> Torn photo left. Just the left part of it. Gee. I wonder what's in the second part of that photo. Key evidence collected. Great. I need more evidence, though. Apparently. Where be more evidence? Where be more evidence? 
Where be more? Uh, curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a fortune. Yeah, that's a double barrel Dow joke still. Alright, alright, cool. Where be other evidence? I need more evidence. I'm not leaving here without more evidence. Need more evidence. 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 Have a dance, 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 dance. You're just gonna stare at me holding that double barrel there? I swear there must be a sub basement here. But I guess not. You guys are gonna use the basement all too often, do you? I mean, you got a pool table down here. A little disappointed. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell me. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon. I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced. And his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Okay, bud. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I got several questions. All evidence collected, apparently. Okay, uh... Okay, that's that's not the one I was going through the looking glass. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see if I can advance this a little bit. Although, I'm going to end the stream pretty soon here. In fact, now is a pretty good time to do that. Throgmorton's expedition was attacked in the depths of Beneath Oakmont. Professor Harry Doe, the expedition was captured. The attack of fish like creatures, Inthmont Syndrome. When they said it was killed in a fight, it carried a dagger. And evidence of such crimes throughout the city. Probably have to go through the archives to find more evidence of attacks and stuff like that. That's probably my next line of inquiry there. But uh, I'll leave that for tomorrow. This, uh, this game might be going on for a while because this is a lot of... I've been doing the side quests for like another two hours. So I should probably just focus up and do the main quests instead of trying to track down side quests and stuff like that. Because... <laughs> Obviously, it's going to take a while if I just focus on everything. So, yeah. Uh, I will send you guys on a raid here soon. Uh, let's see who's online right now. Who on Twitch is online right now? Hmm. No, a raid on Color You Dead. I mean, he's the only one on right now. Sure. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you make a good point. You make a good point, uh, Crowbar slash Miss Media. I could always revisit it for side quests and stuff like that. And right now I'm just watching a ad for Halloween 2018 for some fucking reason. <laughs> What? I mean, it is it is Halloween time, so, you know. It's streaming on Peacock, apparently. That's that's probably why they're advertising it. Alright, so let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and raid uh, Color You Dead. 
and you know, uh, met him uh, while playing some Dead by Daylight. Seems like a pretty decent guy, and uh, you know, give him some love there. And um, let's see here. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Sinking City. We'll continue our little Lovecraftian quest from there. Uh, hopefully, you guys are finding it entertaining. And uh, uh, you guys have a lovely night. And as always, remember to keep gaming. Bye!